Hey folks and welcome back to the channel. Happy K Crypto here. So let's get a video up on what is transpiring at the moment and what things are being said between CZ Binance and the community. Now let's go to this tweet. We'll get the thread up and we will go from the top. So CZ has put out a tweet saying pretty much apparently this exploit happened because the Gov developer wrote a tech blog on CSDN and accidentally included the credentials. Now Someone else has then posted when Lunk burn 1.2% plan. And he CZ has then responded, they don't even burn for on-chain transactions, right? And then this person has then replied, I'm talking about buying and selling commission. Practicing this will make you an angel. And he's come back and said, and all traders moving to other less secure platforms, it doesn't work. They need to implement on-chain first and it will kill the on-chain activity too. Now you can see Vegas is actually writing back as well. The on-chain code is ready and will at some point in the next week be implemented, the code on-chain and uh, the terms off-chain, nothing stop you from implementing it right away. And I've explained this many of times in my videos that they don't actually need us to implement anything. They can just do it themselves. So as to what he's saying, I've stated we have already explained to the community that on-chain TX will go down on implementing 3568. And as it stands, the chain can only prosper from this. And the reason why I'm saying this is because as it stands, the on-chain transactions are already, I mean, they're at such a minuscule amount compared to prior to this. It was seeing trillions in volume. Um, now it's not. <laughs> so... It, so it, it kind of puts us in a position where it's like, well, we have no other option but to actually do this because not doing it and then just laying over and accepting our fate is not going to help us one bit. It's not going to help us push towards that goal. And we've come so far in such a short amount of time. For, and for now, ah. sorry about that. <laughs> the cat's going nuts. Um, so pretty much, the way I'm seeing this right now is kind of as if, if you, if you, have you ever seen Scary Movie 2? Uh, sorry, Scary Movie with Doofy. Or, yes, I think his name's Doofy. Yes, Doofy. And he plays off as this really, really stupid character throughout the whole film. And it turns out he's the mastermind behind everything at the end. And now the way CZ's acting is literally as if he doesn't have an absolute scooby as to what cryptocurrency is what on-chain and off-chain transactions are and what a bird even is. Um, so his responses as so far are really, really strange in my opinion. So I've responded to him and I have laid out that in 3.2 concerns and pitfalls 43568 right here and I have linked him this. And I've also linked him to 3568 and 4080 implementation update and then showing the section where Columbus 5 tests are actually ongoing. And these are integration tests and we need to expect these con to continue until they're needed and until they have a fully 100% working product to put out and actually implement correctly. So yes, it is in the test net and uh, no, in my opinion, and, and this is a lot of people's opinions. This isn't just mine. This is a lot of people I've spoken to who are in the know that they do not need us to actually do anything and they can just implement this tax. It's obvious where the tax comes from, who's to be taxed. And it's really obvious that we're not going to be taxing users' wallets. That doesn't, how would that even be fair to anyone for us to go, right, and now he needs to tax 1.2% of your Luna Classic bag and every transaction afterwards. No, it's just every transaction that's ever made afterwards for Luna Classic buy and sell will receive that 1.2% burn tax. And like I said, this was voted for by the community, not just a couple of people, not just off hearsay. This was voted in properly, correctly, using the rules, using the governance, the thing that was designed for us to do this. And as you can see, it was a very large amount. And the one thing I always like to go go back to and look at is that Orion Money voted yes for this and they hold such a huge voting power. So if Orion Money with that much voting power understood the proposal in itself, what it's supposed to do, where it gets implemented and things like that, how is Binance and CZ Binance struggling to figure out where to, how to and why to implement this? And it seems like they're just sort of like, 
they're at a point now where they can't ignore the community anymore and they they can only act dumb. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to really drag it on too much because I know a lot of people saying, oh, well, you know what I mean? You're fixated with CZ Binance and what he's doing and stuff like that. But once again, coming out and addressing loads of other stuff, replying to other people, but never has he once ever replied to the situation regarding his main slash withdrawal wallet. And it's as simple as him coming out and just going, yes, it's users coins or going, no, it's our coins, but they haven't. And it's, it really is that simple. They just haven't done it. And this wallet is now moving up to that. I, I would say by the week at when, by the time the, this week ends, this wallet will have moved the circulating supply through its wallet which is absolutely insane crypto.com don't store their um users coins like this and from what we know about binance they store their users coins in cold storage so yeah it's all food for thought and then once again a lot of people have forgotten that binance moved one trillion luna classic coins during a blockchain halt yes that's correct during a blockchain halt when 100 percent of luna classic users had been locked out of the system and it is just that simple so going back to cz binance and the tweets that he's put out as you can see a lot of people are now commenting on this are trying to get answers and things like this so i think it's very interesting that once again see a binance reply as well to someone with a very very small following a very small presence on the internet um so yeah if people think he's not seeing what i'm posting about this wallet then i think a lot of people are highly mistaken because <clears throat> if he's seeing such a small tweet like that they are definitely seeing that we're calling out this wallet non-stop and there's so many people that want an answer the same as me because we need that answer to put a nail or a pin in it, so to speak. Put a pin in it, stick it on the board and go, right, it's users or it's Binance's coins or it's a mixture of both. Or do you know what I mean? It could be something else. We could be totally wrong about what it is to start with anyway. So yeah, like I said, I'm not going to drag this video on much longer. I'm just literally getting this out there to pretty much show people that we have Binance's attention and we have CZ Binance's attention. And yesterday, Binance tweeted about DAOs. And what have we spoken about today in this? Oh, that's right. DAOs and what a DAO is and how um, a DAO should be and things like that. So, yeah, it's all food for thought. Look, folks, stay safe out there. It's not financial advice. Be aware of scammers, doppelgangers, anybody pretending to be me or the Happy Catty Crypto channel, Link Layer Burn channel. They are not me. Do make sure you're speaking to the correct person. I can only be found on Twitter. I can be found in the Terror Rebels Discord group and then I can be only ever found in my own Telegram group. I am in no other groups or organizations or anything like this. So uh, yeah, like I was saying, catch you in the next one. Shloop.